All right, welcome back. It's time for us to take a look at captains of industry. Well, all digital lenders in the country are set to be regulated once regulations to police the sector are passed in Parliament. The mobile lending applications have become an easy source of credit, but they offer high interest rates and illegally mine customer data. In a bid to tame the players, Central Bank of Kenya is set to regulate them, and Brenda Kerubo spoke to Ivan Mboa, the general manager at Tala East Africa, on this week's Captains of Industry. <music> is a financial technology company that offers instant credit through an Android app. The company has offices in Santa Monica, California, Nairobi, Manila, Mexico City, and Bangalore. Tala began lending in Kenya through the smartphone app Nkopo Rahisi in March 2014. This was later rebranded to Tala in 2016. Ivan Mbawa is the East Africa General Manager of Tala's Kenyan subsidiary, Eventure Mobile Limited. Prior to joining Tala, Ivan built his career on access to finance in Africa. After eight years in banking, he co-founded and launched Tumati Capital, focused on providing working capital to SMEs within the agribusiness sector. Thank you so much, Ivan Boa. We really appreciate the opportunity. So Parliament is back, and the CBK Amendment Bill 2020, seeking to regulate digital lenders, will most likely be passed into law. Does this worry you? No, we're not worried. Uh, this is something that we've been anticipating for a number of years. And in fact, we actually welcome it. Um, as part of the Digital Lenders Association of Kenya, we've been trying to work with legislators, potential regulators, to really address some of the concerns that have come up from society regarding the growth of our digital lending industry. But borrowers feel the fees charged is too high. I mean, you're talking about rates between 5% all the way to 15%. Um, I think that is a common misconception. Um, if you actually think about our fees, if you're an introductory client, you're perhaps borrowing at about 15% on 15% uh, of sort of flat fees in 30 days. Um, however, as you begin to repay your loan successfully, that actually drops all the way down to 5%. And when you think about that, and actually even compare it to some well-known bank-led fintechs, um, our price is even slightly more competitive than you'd expect. Um, I think ultimately what we say is, uh, especially for clients who are using it for business purposes, if we're charging client at least 5% or so, are they able to use our capital and invest it in their business and earn a higher return? And only if they're able to do so do I think that makes the, a good decision to essentially borrow at that rate. The debt collectors who seek to recover the money borrowed, talk to us a little bit about this because some of them use a lot of force and we have the borrowers who have to borrow from another app to pay to another app. We don't think it's right for you know borrowers to uh, have the entire contact list in their phone contacted. We don't think it's right for borrowers to be insulted when they're on the phone. And so we make sure that our agents are only adhering to those standards. That being said, I think the behavior you talked about where borrowers start going to other lenders to borrow to repay is actually very, very unhealthy. And we do not encourage it at all. Uh, in fact, in many ways, we began to see that there are a number of consumers who really depend on that sort of, let's call it, uh, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, borrowing from Paul to pay John, and so forth, and that's not sustainable. That is, is not good for the consumer, it's not good for us as a lender, and that's actually something that we strongly, strongly encourage customers do not do. Digital lenders, they are actually behaving badly, that there is a need to regulate them. I think that's a broad statement. Um, I wouldn't say that all digital lenders have been behaving badly, but there have been a number of cases that I think perhaps prove that point. Um, as I said early on, there's some cases of digital lenders who have provided opaque terms, so they're not really clear with customers on what the pricing of the total cost will be. They are not respectful in the way in which to go ahead and collect loans. Um, you know, they are potentially actually tripling and doubling the amount that's been borrowed through excessive interest. Um, and so I think for those reasons, there is a case for external regulation. 
to address those bad actors. But I think it's really critical to understand that those bad actors are not the majority of digital lenders that are in this market. So why did you leave entrepreneurship for Tala? Most people would move from being employed all the way to starting their own business, but you, you did it the other way around. Why? In my own personal case, I spent five and a half years building my business. Unfortunately, uh, we had to make a decision to wind down that business of mine. And so I found myself at a crossroad where I could either start another business or go join what I thought was a, a very successful team with a great mission that was very similar to what I was trying to do earlier on. And so it was a really easy choice for me as to why I ended up choosing Tala. Does it matter if people don't like you or they don't like your company? Because in this case, you'd find that they, 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 are, they like your product, like the borrowing of the money, but they don't necessarily like Tala. I think that as long as our customers see utility, they see value in what we offer, um, that's first. Because you know, even if we were loved and we had a useless product, it doesn't help anyone. It's like saying, well, we love this brand, but it does, its products do nothing for us. We go nowhere. Um, so I think to answer your question, I'd probably say that it is ideally best to be loved and to have a great product that people love. The worst case scenario, I think we can love, we can, we can live with having a product that people love and perhaps not being liked that much. Thank you.